check out this, someone's gonna be pretty happy. This is one of the first F-350 platinum trimmers I've seen. You can see how expensive it is, holy cow. It's got almost every option. But I really like the platinum in this color combination because the chrome goes really well with the gray. It doesn't look too flashy. Kind of surprised they didn't get it with fifth wheel prep. I was just checking that out. But yeah, the chrome is uh, looks really nice on this with the uh, with this gray. I want to make sure I see what color this is again. Okay, carbonized gray. Okay. Yup, looks sweet. Someone's gonna be happy. See what interior color they've got. The black. Yep, looks great. Definitely get some of premium interior finishes versus the, like a Lariat Ultimate. So now here's a perfect example of a platinum seat. And I don't believe, nope, this is not a max recline seat. Let me see, because I can tell it doesn't have the shoulder extra shoulder uh, room but what you do get which is really nice well is it a max recline huh it's almost a max recline that's interesting but you do get the more premium seat pad which is really nice still got all the same interior don't see anything different here no different options. Same stitching, leather, covering up the dash. Same stitching, leather. Just feels like a little softer, a little nicer material than what I have in my truck. A little more cushion. Here's the thing I wanted to look at too. So it's got the sunroof. This truck has almost everything mine has, except they swapped the sunroof for fifth wheel prep. And that's what you're gonna get for payload. It's still pretty hefty. For a single rear wheel truck, 3,900 pounds is a ton. It's a ton. It's a lot. Also, that's interesting. I'm looking at the color of the, the Jones bumpers being that color, I'm gonna compare that to my truck and see if it's the same color. Now you can also see it's got the load sensors. This is one of the first trimmers I've seen with the payload sensor bracket built into the suspension. So it's gonna have the LED light I think it's right here. I think this lights up with payload. Assuming this has the power tailgate too. Let me see, yep. Can have the power up. Let's see. Might be disabled. Nope, there you go. Yep, got the splash guards. Nice truck. Now here's a bracket on the passenger side frame. You can see how that attaches to the frame. found this kind of interesting. The driver's side jounce bumper was actually a white color, whereas you'll see I'll jump over to the passenger side and it actually is more of a yellow color. Not sure what's going on there, but it's got two different color jounce bumpers. I doubt there's any issue with performance or function. It just looks a little bit goofy. Check this truck out. What do we have here, guys? Check this beast out. First time I've seen a Roush Super Duty. This thing is beautiful. This guy's got a real, real unit here. I like some of the touches here with the painted like bushwhacker fender flares. I almost think it should have came like that from the factory, but the boys Roush did come up with a solution. The other thing I like on this Roush kit, besides the American flag stars in the front, is the Roush exhaust tips. You still keep your cooling uh, for when it's in regen mode, but it looks just really sharp. This is, a, this is pretty sweet. I could see why someone would want to go with the Roush kit. Very well appointed. Looks good. Truck is locked. I can grab the keys, but it is just a Lariat Ultimate, just like my truck, but just the appointments make it look really sharp. The accents, the roof line. See what they got for suspension. Yeah, it's got a real nice Fox. Looks like some sort of coil over. Probably I'm looking at this, maybe a two inch lift. 
I hope you enjoy this video. This is one of the first F-350 Platinum trimmers I've seen in Michigan, as well as the new Roush Super Duty. Both are awesome in different ways. Thanks yep. for watching.